today's problem from polar equation of two dimensional geometry and the problem is if the normal is drawn at any extremity of the lattice rectum p s p s the name of the extremities are given p s p s of the conic l by r this is equal to 1 plus e cos theta where s is said to be cone then show that the distance from the focus s of the other point in which the normal meets the car is given by this okay so if we draw a rough sketch of the conic the conic is given by this is like this type of conic is this okay this is given by l by r this is equal to 1 plus e cos theta right and let this be the focus this is the focus is s and since the conic is l by r equal to 1 plus e cos theta so we know that this is the focus focus as the pole that is the coordinate of pole is 0 0 and here the negative direction of x axis this is the initial line okay because the conic is of the form l by r equal to 1 plus l by r equal to 1 plus e cos theta so for any point on the conic let it be any point p and the coordinate of p this is r theta right and r theta means this is r and this angle is given by theta okay here the lattice rectum is given by p s p dot so the lattice rectum is given by we draw perpendicular to the initial line that is the axis of the conic through s this is said to be lattice rectum okay and this is given by p s and p dash and we know that this angle is pi by 2 okay now we draw a tangent first at the point p if we draw a tangent at the point p that is one extremity of the conic then we draw a normal right this is the normal at the point p and it is clear that this normal this normal through p meet the conic again at another point let it be q okay let it be q so we have to find the distance q distance of q from the focus s it represented by the dotted line we have to find sq okay sq we have to find and we have to prove that sq this is equal to our given result now here we use an important result of polar equation which is given by the equation of normal at any point theta equal to alpha to the conic l by r equal to 1 plus e cos theta this is given by e sin alpha by 1 plus e cos alpha into l by r this is equal to e sin theta plus sin of theta minus alpha okay now here we first write the given given conic this is l by r this is equal to 1 plus e cos theta and it is name as relation number 1 okay now equation of conic at the point p that is at one extremity p of the lattice rectum we get the equation of normal through p by putting alpha equal to pi by 2 here okay in the equation of normal so we write equation equation of normal of 1 at p by putting alpha equal to pi by 2 in equation of normal of 1 and theta equal to alpha that is in we write the equation of normal is given by e sin alpha by 1 plus e cos alpha into l by r this is equal to e sin theta plus sin of theta minus alpha 
and from here we get by putting alpha equal to pi by 2 we get e into sin pi by 2 this is 1 by 1 plus e into 0 because cos pi by 2 and this is L by R, this is equal to E sin theta plus sin of, this is theta minus pi by okay. And clearly this is given by L by R, E into L by R, this is E sin theta minus, sorry, this is cos theta, cos theta, okay. Let it be relation number. Now we have to find the point of intersection of 1 and 2 and this is the point of intersection. Now we have to only find for the point of intersection only find the value of r because s is the pole and this is the distance r for the point u. So we first equate two value of r from 1 and 2 then we find the angle then by putting the angle theta in any one of 1 or 2 then we get the value of r. So we, we equate, equate r from 1 and 2 we get. How we equate? From here we get this is L by L by 1 plus e cos theta right and from here we get we get e l by e sin theta minus cos theta okay and l l cancel out and we get by cross multiplication e sin theta minus cos theta this is equal to e into 1 plus e cos theta and this relation gives e into sin theta minus 1 this is equal to this is equal to 1 plus e square into cos theta okay so we get the result 1 minus sin theta by cos theta this is given by 1 minus sin theta by cos theta this is given by 1 plus e square by e and 1 minus is left here okay and by using trigonometrical formula we directly write this is cos theta by 2 minus sin theta by 2 by this is cos theta by 2 plus sin theta by 2 this is minus 1 plus e square by e okay and from here by dividing numerator and denominator by cos theta by 2 we get the result as 1 minus tan theta by 2 by 1 plus tan theta by 2 this is given by minus 1 plus e square by e from here by component one dividend row we get the result as 1 minus tan theta by 2 plus 1 plus tan theta by 2 so that tan theta by 2 tan theta by 2 cancel out we get this is 2 by this is 1 minus tan theta by 2 by minus 1 minus tan theta by 2 also. So we get in the denominator 2 into tan theta by 2 and in the in the right side we get 1 plus e square minus e by 1 plus e square plus e. Okay. So we get 2 to cancel out and getting the result as by reversing we get tan theta by 2 tan theta by 2 this is given by 1 plus e plus e square by this is given by this is given by e minus 1 minus e square okay because here another minus is present okay now we use the formula of cos theta the formula of cos theta is given by cos theta is given by 1 minus tan square theta by 2 by 1 plus tan square theta by 2 and putting here the value of tan theta by 2 from this relation we get the result as here we calculate so we clean the board 
and this is 1 minus 1 plus e plus e square by e minus 1 minus e square whole square by 1 plus 1 plus e plus e square by e minus 1 minus e square whole square and calculating we get the result e minus 1 minus e square whole square minus 1 plus e plus e square whole square by e minus 1 minus e square whole square plus 1 plus e plus e square whole square okay and clearly if we calculate this two term as the first term is like e minus this is 1 plus e square whole square minus and this term is e plus 1 plus e square whole square and in the lower position it is e minus 1 plus e square whole square plus e plus 1 plus e square whole square okay so we get the result from here this is the value of cos theta can we write this is the value of cos theta cos theta is given by for the upper term we get a minus b whole square minus a plus b whole square okay so we get from this result this is minus 4 e into 1 plus e square right this is the formula of minus 4 a b and from the lower term we get the result as this is 2 into a square plus b square so we get 2 into a square means a square and b square means 1 plus a square whole square right so we get minus 2 e 1 plus e square by from here we get e to the power 4 plus 2 e square and e square 3 e square plus 1 right so yes e to the power 4 2 e square and e square 3 e square plus 1 now for the value of r for the value of r we put the value of cos theta in the position here okay so we get r this is equal to l by 1 plus e cos theta so l by this is given by 1 minus e into because here we have minus e into 2 into e so 2 e square into 1 plus e square by e to the power 4 plus 3 e square plus 1 okay and calculating we get l into e to the power 4 plus 3 e square plus 1 by we add this result as e to the power 4 plus 3 e square plus 1 minus this is 2 e square this is minus 2 e to the power 4 okay so we get l this is given by sq sq this is the required length which is given by l into 1 plus 3 e square plus e to the power 4 and the term in the denominator is given by we write first 1 okay then we write e square because 3 e square minus 2 e square so this is given by e square and we get this is minus e to the power 4 so we get the result l into 1 plus 3 square plus e to the power 4 by 1 plus e square minus e to the power 4 okay but here we write in our problem there is non mistake this is plus i think okay and this is our correct answer of this problem very very important problem of polar equation thank you thank you for watching